Jake. And I'm Christine. And happy Christmas Eve Eve, which is hopefully when this episode will be coming out. With uh, the big holiday just a day or two away, I thought we'd look at one of the most uh, beloved, to most, uh, holiday movies ever made, A Christmas Story from 1983. And uh, Christine is pretty familiar with this movie. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of it? I don't like it. It's so anti-Christmas. <laughs> and I hate that it's on Turner Classic Movies for the next 48 hours. <laughs> and it's all people want to listen to and watch. <laughs> I do agree. They play that movie way too much. Way and too much. It's amazing that they still do that every fucking year. But anyway, before we get our mouths washed out, <laughs> here's the trailer that... <laughs> Uh, wrangle a few people in at the time. I know there's a select food. I have found them. <laughs> no. I'm all for misfit things Christmas. Misfit Christmas all the way. So they end on the most annoying sound. So, uh... Sorry for my disdain. It's okay, it makes the movie more interesting. <laughs> but, how does the trailer for this movie, You Don't Like, come off? I don't want anyone to watch it. <laughs> Good. Terrible sound effects, stupid humor. I hate this humor. Yeah. I think I could see how this trailer would uh, get a few people to go see it. 100%. That's a huge audience that actually makes it. Because <laughs> it's got a, a lot of goofy humor to it. It's, it makes the movie, it kind of paints it like a different type of movie. Like it's non-stop shenanigans. Mm -hmm. MGM presents a Christmas story. <laughs> <laughs> My thoughts on a Christmas story? I started watching it when I was really young, and I don't think it's my favorite Christmas movie, but I don't hate it as much as you do. No. I mean, uh, I don't know, it felt, uh, it felt real in some areas, as far I as... I totally, like, I love Misfit Christmas, like, go to Chinese food restaurants. <laughs> Life kind of is weird. Yeah. And it's not always rainbows and roses and ribbons on presents. But why do you think it's uh, anti-Christmas, exactly? Mm, it's just so mean. <laughs> <laughs> we live in a mean world, bitch! Mom! Hush! Shut up, Ralphie! It's just like, out of all the movies, why promote, like, the mean, angry... Terrible way life shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know about that exactly, but um, yes, it is very. They do show. They do show that they're. Despite the bad moments, the family does kind of come together to have some nice time with each other. And, it's, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's fun for me. I don't think it's the greatest. I do think it's played way too fucking much. Yes. Like we said a year or two ago, It's a Wonderful Life should be the movie that gets played 24-7. Yes. That movie's also kind of real, but it has a much more heartwarming uh, conclusion to it. Exactly. Spirit of Christmas. And... Giving. Thanks. It, Love. It, Cherishing. <laughs> helping thy neighbor. Yeah, all, most of those things. <laughs> and, uh... Thanks not some. beating them up. <laughs> well, I mean, that kid... He's scaring the shit out of them. Well, that one kid, the bully, he deserved to get beat up. Well, yes. I he, would agree with that. He had that coming. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> I, think, I think some fun facts to go out on are... <laughs> This movie was based on a book called In God We Trust All Others Pay Cash by Gene Shepard. What a title. <laughs> yeah. And guess where it was originally published? Where? In Playboy magazine. Oh, that makes too much sense. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and... Gene Shepard was... I've heard that those magazine articles are quite actually good. <laughs> yeah. He also, Gene Shepard, served as the film's narrator, being the adult Ralphie. And uh, Bob Clark, the director of A Christmas Story, nine years before this movie, he made the 1974 pre-Halloween slasher movie called Black Christmas. A completely different Christmas movie that... Well, people say Halloween inspired the slasher genre. Black Christmas inspired Halloween. And guess what movie Bob Clark made before A Christmas Story? Easter Spectacular. The 1980s teen sex comedy Porky's. <laughs> Considered the American pie of its time. Mm -hmm. And it was a huge success, made millions, and the studio told Bob Clark, we will finance and distribute any movie you want to make, we'll let you do whatever you want. And he made a Christmas story, of all things. So in a weird way, without the raunchy porkies, you wouldn't have the uh, not uh, entirely kid-friendly, but still not as uh, adult, a Christmas story. In the spirit of the original, I made you stop tradition. American Christmas. Some people will begrudgingly say, Thank you, Porkies. I'm guessing you want to say, Fuck you, Porkies. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, know, I know it's not a movie you like, but I thought this would be a fun trailer to just. Uh, dissect. <laughs> well, further ado, happy holidays, everybody, and Christine. I know it's Christmas and your birthday's oh. around this time, so here you go. I wrote a little hint on the uh, wrapping paper. What does it say? says, to Christine from Jake. All those moments will be lost in time, like the tears in the rain. Can you guess? I just... I don't do all the quotes. All those moments will be lost in time, like the tears in the rain. We watched the trailer for this movie earlier this year. Yes. In fact, it was the very first trailer we watched this year. Oh. I'm pretty sure she still doesn't know what it is. Nope. My memory is not that good. Well, no time uh, stalling. Rip it up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen this. <laughs> well, you got a DVD now, so no time like the present. Show them what you got. Blade Runner. The final cut. The um, best cut, according to many people. Although I personally prefer the director's cut. There's there are some differences. Oh. But anyway. I'm sorry. Happy Christmas. Thanks. <laughs>